WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update. We've got a mixed bag out there. The mix goes like this. The Dow's up 23 points. Russell's up 17. That's a 1% move for it. Semis are up a half a percent, 17 points there. You've got the S&P down a quarter of a percent, 11 points, 8 tenths of a percent for the NASDAQ 100, 117. Trannies are up 121. That's 9 tenths of a percent. So that's truly a mixed bag. Gold is off 5 bucks. Silver's down 15 cents. Light three crude is trading out at 83.92 that's off a buck 46 natural gas up a nickel is trading above its uh, resistance levels 30-year treasury up 22 ticks printing out at 109.03 let's figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart we begin with the es mini upper left hand side now what we have out here is you've got a uh, you've got a a to b equals cd to the downside you can see we're well below the 1.272 expansion level if we were to see a bullish reversal candle today that would confirm a buy the d point what you don't see is that today is also bar number eight of a td9 count that says a td9 count bottom can take effect or can't take hold between today and monday out there there's also a roads momentum indicator signal that's present so a bullish reversal candle would confirm that pattern as well short of that price will target 41.32 its next price projection Level. Spot volatility still above its 50-day exponential moving average, and uh, um, so that's always a, a serious concern for the uh, buyers of the S&P 500. The NQ negated its TD9 count bottom yesterday. It's got the A to B equals CD pattern. It needs a bullish reversal candidate to confirm by bottom. Today, it will also become bar number eight of a TD9 count. So there's a possibility that we'll see a TD9 count occur between today and Monday. U.S. dollar index, it's trading above the top of its daily profile, suggesting two and I wants to go target 107.05. We'll take a look at what's going on with the other currency pairs that make that up during the Trader's Ed show. Gold, though, in the move higher inside of the U.S. dollar index, gold is holding up very well. It does have resistance, a couple of resistance levels, 2009.20 is the key one, and just above below that is 1996.40. Silver, just trading, it's made the full range today between support and resistance. That's with regard to its daily profile. Support, 2253, resistance, 2330. Light sweet crude. Uh, is trading with inside its profile. It's got its trading into the support buy zone between 181.43 and 83.88. Natural gas might uh, continue its rally. If it closes today above 338, that's the top of its daily profile. That's more likely than not. And with regard to the 30-year treasury, just uh, finding support at the bottom of its bullish structured profile. The key level that it needs to close above is 109.09. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Edge Show, but if you have to start your Thursday, have a terrific one. Thanks for joining us. We'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.